When was Yeshua Jesus born? Christmas or Sukkot? How can we be for certain Yeshua? Jesus' birthday was on Sukkot. First off, we can track when Elizabeth was pregnant with John as he went forth in the spirit of Elijah. John was conceived in mid Savan on the Hebrew calendar, which is May, June, and born 40 weeks later around Nice and 15, which is Passover, April. We know that Zechariah was a temple priest, and when the angel appeared, he was on temple duty for Aviyah, the eighth course of the year, Luke 1, verse 5, 1 Chronicles 24, verse 10. Yeshua was conceived six months after John, Luke 1, verses 24 through 27, and verse 36, which is later Kislev, and during that year was Hanukkah Festival of Lights, December, as Yeshua was called the light to the world. From the 15th day of Nice in April, we add six months later to Tishra, and we come to Sukkot, October. Notice that all the ends were full. Why? During Sukkot, Jews and Gentiles from many nations would gather around Jerusalem and the surrounding cities like Bethlehem. They went into a stable or what many build a Sukkot. The law said you are to dwell in booths for seven days, and we see Sukkot last seven days. He was wrapped in swaddling clothes, which would have been priestly clothes from Zechariah the priest. On the eighth day, many fulfilled as a red Simcat Torah, Leviticus 23, verse 39, which they begin reading from Genesis all over again. So how did he fulfill that? The word became flesh, and he came to properly teach it. Beautiful, right? On the eighth day, Yeshua received his circumcision, Luke 2, verses 21 through 27, or purification and consecration according to the law of Moses. His parents were poor, so according to the law, they bought two pigeons to sacrifice, which the poor bought instead of a much more expensive animal. King Herod used the census during the time of Sukkot, not December. Shepherds would not be in the field in December. It's too cold. We can also track Herod slaughtering of babies and when Mary and Joseph went to Egypt. Also, when was the first physical temple dedicated in the Ark of the Covenant, presence of God placed within it? Sukkot. He said, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Zechariah 14 verse 16 gives us a visual of how the marriage supper of the Lamb will likely be on Sukkot, a time of joy and feasting. Historically, we can research documents and writings, and even Clement of Alexandria never mentioned December 25th as the birth of Messiah, nor any other historian. There is a spring and winter solstice, which pagans celebrated. Many pagan gods were worshipped on December 25th and April 12th, Easter. Constantine, an antichrist and Roman leader with a hunger for power, knew his power against the believers of Yeshua was becoming threatened by their uprising. So, just like Titus who destroyed the temple in Jerusalem and used the money from the temple items to build the Roman Colosseum, also put an idol of himself and made himself like a god. He brought in Christianity and all the pagan worship and God from all the nations, claimed he had a vision of Jesus and forced it upon all to follow his form of Christianity and implemented Christmas with pagan worship on December 25th, 336 A.D. and Easter on 325 A.D. In fact, it wasn't mentioned to celebrate his birth unto Constantine. He mentions in writing to prove that the Roman Christian church is more powerful than God. They will now worship on the days implemented by the ruling Roman Empire. He also changes Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday as another tactic to rule over the Jewish traditions 
of God's commandments. Anyone who was found worshiping ha- uh, Hanukkah, Passover, or keeping Saturday Sabbath was to be put to death. Even later in 1, uh, 12, 23 AD, the nativity scene was created from Catholicism. Ever heard the story? Three wise men showed up when Jesus as born was born. The Bible never mentions three wise men. And it wasn't until Jesus was a small child that the wise men would have brought gifts. December 25th was made most popular by Pope Liberius in 354 and became the rule in the West in 435 when the first Christ Mass was officially officiated by Pope Sixtus III. This coincided with the date of a celebration by the Romans to their primary god, the sun, and to Mithras, as popular Persian sun god supposedly born on the same day. Constantine, just like Antiochus, set up idols in the temple, sacrificed pig flesh, murdered thousands who kept God's commandments, implemented new days of worship, and did away with the holy days and Sabbath of God. Daniel, from a vision of God, warned about the Antichrist and a ruler who would fight against the holy ways of God. History often repeats itself, and we see that many follow the traditions which Paul, as a warning from Yeshua, spoke to be careful not to follow in the traditions of man, but to keep the traditions You have learned from us which was learned from childhood. What were these traditions? God's holy ways. Unfortunately, rulers after Constantine and the Council of Nicene accepted these traditions and believed that all paganism was brought out of it and that we worship the birth of Christ. What the danger of this is, Most of these churches also celebrate fall festivals, mixing in pagan worship of Halloween and other false doctrine and theology which they deem as holy. God teaches us to be set apart from what is unclean, and even in the 1800s, Christians and Jews fought against Christmas, wreaths, mistletoe, Christmas trees, and many more decorations for all had pagan origins and banned all forms of Easter and Christmas while jailing and finding anyone caught celebrating it. How did it become accepted again? In our research we find that just as the lukewarm churches accept many false doctrine and theology, rebellious toward God's holy ways and wanting to worship their form of God in a new way. So we see with churches today, the great falling away and apostasy also brought in with a watered-down half-truth message that is self-appeasing without self-denial. It's intertwined with idolatry, love of money, lust, entertainment, and fun games. The very type of church the true church of Yeshua sought to make sure doesn't rise up. On Passover when Yeshua said, Do this in remembrance of me, wasn't to have Easter as Constantine said was his rising, not about pagan eggs and bunnies, but about a Jewish Passover feast, which was God's just as the coat is his birth and tabernacle amongst us. We must not be so conceited in our hearts that one desires to burn their family Christmas tree, but we must be a set apart nation in love and humility, desiring and committing our actions to what is true and right in the sight of Adonai, the Lord, Sukkot. It's a wonderful time to praise God and worship what he has done in our lives. During Sukkot, we acknowledge that we are in our temporary dwelling, Sukkah, our bodies yielding our bodies to the power of the Ruach HaKodesh Holy Spirit. And until Yeshua is coming and return where he will take his faithful and patient bride back to the wedding ceremony in the biggest Sukkah, Sukkah of all time, 
where we will rule and reign with him. We will rule and reign with him for eternal life. Be careful not to become a foolish bride, but a faithful one, patiently waiting for the day Yeshua tabernacles among us for all eternity. Shalom to all. Happy Sukkot, Ocean Wave Ministries.